Lions TV, this is The Den Daily, bringing you all the latest gossip, views and transfer news from in and around The Den. I said I could be back today and here I am for the third video of the day and there's still more to come on the channel if I can get it filmed and edited and out before the day is done. And as we know, I said it's going to be a very, very busy summer. Players leaving, potentially the manager's not signed his contract. This one's not signed his contract, but someone who has definitely signed a new contract on the day that Millwall released their 2021-22 retain list is the skipper, Sean Hutchinson. Nothing but good news in this video. The skipper signs an extension to his already long-term contract, which he signed at the club in January 2000. And 20. The club don't often, I always say this, put out how much a player we've bought him for. They always say an undisclosed fee or sell them. And they never say how long a contract is for that they've given to a player. Now, if they say long-term contract, I'm guessing that's anything up to sort of three, four years. Anything over two years at a guess. I can't guarantee you that. But, you know, a deal, a short-term deal, a long-term deal. I'm guessing that a long-term deal is sort of three four years, and with Sean Hutchinson already 31 years of age, I think that will see him finish his career at the club. Hutch joined the club in 2016 under Neil Harris, one of the best day's work Neil Harris has ever done. I think we spoke recently in a video about bad Neil Harris signings. Well, Hutch is up there with one of the best, and to get himself and Jake Cooper for a combined total of £400,000 and get the amount of games that we've got out of them as service in the years since then, I think since 2000. I think Cooper signed just after. So say 2017, the central defence pairing has been five years now established in the championship and they've both been brilliant for us. We've got Hutchinson on a free from Fulham. Uh, I believe that because he was slightly injury prone. I can't guarantee it, but he did have his issues, as I've alluded to before when he joined the club, with injuries. And I remember a night at Peterborough away when he broke down after just coming back and then up breaking down on the pitch after coming on as a substitute and was out for a long, long time. I always had confidence in his ability and that he was a fantastic defender, especially for League One. And obviously, as he's proved now in the Championship, but I was worried about his fitness at that time, but he seems to have turned it round, doesn't he? And he really has cracked on to become an absolute focal point of that central defence pairing, as I've said, and our success in the championship under Neil Harris and, of course, more recently, Gary Rowett in the past few years. As well, today in that retained list, you may have already known, there is a video out for it on our YouTube channel, that Alex Pierce is leaving the club. He, of course, is club captain, and Hutchinson skippers the side regularly unless... Pierce plays, in which case the armband goes over to Pierce. So I'm wondering now, with him being 31, with him signing an extension to his current already long-term contract, and him seeing him potentially finish his career at the club, will that put him in pole position to be club captain? He's very experienced. He's respected by the, the, the fans and, of course, by the players on the pitch. So I think it's an ideal fit. I think Hutchinson now will go on to be... Club captain, and one final thing, I was thinking about this earlier, you know, is Jeb Wallace a legend? Is this one a legend? Is that one a legend? Well, since he signed for the club in 2016, he's not only helped get promotion, he's also, as I already mentioned, helped stabilise us and make us become an established championship club. He's played 213 games or something like that and scored 13 goals. So he gets on the end of a few things at the right end of the pitch as well. But I think, you know, if you play 250 games plus for a club, in my mind, that puts you down as a legend. But I'm sure he'll get that recognition when he deserves it, when he finishes his career, which, as I said already, I now believe will be at Millwall Football Club. So nothing but good news. Coming out of the club today, Sean Hutchinson has signed an extension to his current contract. So that's your lot for this episode of The Den Daily. I've had to move the camera back a little bit for this one. As you've noticed, I'm all over the Terrace Colt club up today. It really is quality gear. They've got bits in stock ready to go. My stuff arrives within two days. If one thing fits you in one size with this, that'll be your size. There's not all mix and match sizes. It really is a top quality clothing brand. That is why it is recognised the world over, selling in over 25 stores worldwide. It's got some real big names that don their clobber. There you go. There's a couple of them. Maybe they'll put me up there eventually one day. Who knows? But if you're going to buy stuff 
from their website, www.terracecult.com and use code LionsTV at checkout and that will get you 15% off everything for as long as this partnership is going, which hopefully will be for years to come. Please subscribe to Lions TV. Come on, you Lions.